to show you how to create a game board, specifically a Monopoly game board for in Canva. So you're going to do custom, you're going to do create a design and choose custom dimensions. And I'm going to put in 16.025 for the width and for the height. Oh, and make sure it's in inches. 16.025. 16.025 <clears throat> and we're going to create the design so now we have a square I've taken the time to speed this up I have uploaded all of the files for the most part that I need so I'm going to go to my uploads and we're going to start with the game board which I provided to you in the actual assignment and the reason why we're going to start with the game board is because we're going to go over the game board. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I want you to see the parts to this game board. So everywhere there's a color piece, um, it's pretty much going to be the same uh, object. So those will be easy to create quickly. It's two pieces. It's the top part and then it's the bottom part. But these are your elements. So we're going to take the Monopoly board and we're going to make it fit to the streets in your neighborhood. So you would have had to have researched and got 22 streets. That includes avenues, boulevards, or whatever. But you need 22. You need four stops on your train. You need um, utility company logo uh, for Con Ed. And the water one, you can Google a water company to do that logo. Um, but you'll see as it plays out where things are going to go. So I'm going to start with creating the streets, which are the blocks with the colors on them. So I'm going to go to my elements and choose a square. I'm going to change the color and I'm going to fade it out because I want to see what's underneath it. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this here because I need to see what I'm sizing it for. Put one here, it's a little bit inside. Put it down here. Actually, I'm gonna do this one first. So I'm gonna copy and paste that because that's gonna help me for these blocks. This one I'm gonna make a little bit smaller and then I'm going to <clears throat> paste again. So now I have two, but I'm gonna make the top piece smaller. Why is not letting me go any smaller? Okay, so we'll put this one on the bottom. Position backwards. And I want this one on top so the color doesn't overlay when I fill it. So now <clears throat> I'm going to select that one and I'm going to put a color in there. And whatever blue you want to make it. You can do custom colors. You don't have to do the colors that's there. Uh, but I want a blue. I'm trying to find a deeper blue. Okay, so there's my blue. And we're going to show that at 100%. Do I have a different blue on the board? Okay. And trying to shrink it. <clears throat> but it might not let me get any smaller. I don't know. Oh, there it is there. And there you go. Boom, now I have it so it looks like a board. So I'm gonna take these two and I'm gonna group them. And I know I have 21 more streets to do, so I'm just gonna copy and paste. So I know this is gonna stay blue. And we'll put the names on them of our streets later, but you want them to be the same size, so that's the reason why um, I'm copying and pasting them. <clears throat> we will change this to green. Paste. That's going to be green. Paste. <clears throat> That's going to be green. And you're going to do that all the way around your board. Paste. And we're going to turn it. I 
So I'm going to copy and paste from that one so I don't have to turn them. <laughs> that one. I'm trying to line it up. <clears throat> that one. So this is, once we finish, we're going to remove the piece that's underneath, you know, the game board. But for right now, we're just going to leave it there as a guide. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to ungroup because I need to color these now. And ungroup. And ungroup. <clears throat> I can group them back when I'm done. And this one was green, so I'm going to go back here and change this one to green. And that one. And that one. This is purple. One, two. Um, this one is a sky blue. Yeah, let's go with that one. So now we're going to paste, <clears throat> bring it around, spin it. And this is going to be a purple, a uh, magenta, more of a hot pink kind of color. Let's get it more pink. Okay, so that could be one. But not for that part. For the blue part, that to be pink. This part is going to be white. Okay. So now I got that there. Copy and paste. Copy, paste. I don't know what happened. Paste. And then we'll go back and name the streets with whatever you called your streets. <clears throat> That's three more, and these are going to be made orange. So we're already, you know, our blocks are done. That's the that's quick and easy part. Still got to go back and do all the other pieces, though. So we're going to fill this one. What color is this? Orange. Okay. I'll fill these with orange. 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 And orange. Now we're coming on to this side. <clears throat> and we're going to rotate. Okay, so we're going to do this part, and um, I'm going to come back, so I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you how to do the words and the rest of it. Start adding the streets. So we need to do an element, I'm sorry, some text, but we're going to rotate it. So let's go to text, and we'll choose that one. And we're going to say Empire B A L A B A R D. I'm going to move it because we need to make sure that it is small enough to fit in this box. Maybe let's make 14. Let's see how that works. Okay, that size works. Good, good, good. Copy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight, five, five, six. Okay, so now we have all of those. So we're gonna start the streets and I'm just gonna rotate. And now you'll still see the other text behind it, but again, I'm going to get rid of it at the end. This should be 14. Two lines. Okay. 
just trying to get them in the right spot. All right, so looks like that. So this is going to be President Street. And now I'm just going to start with my list. And I'm going to paste the next one. So we got president, we've got crown, uh, sterling, let's do Bedford Avenue. Again, don't worry that you can see the board underneath it. We just need to make sure everything is aligned properly. Just Avenue. And so this is one side where the streets are done. So once you get the street, you know, the size and stuff that you know will fit across your board, then you do that. You copy and paste it with the text formatted the way you want it, and then you just personalize it. We did Rogers Avenue is not spelled right. Let me fix that. Prospect, P E C T, P L A C E, that one. And so we do all of the streets until we are finished and then. Next up will be the train stations.